Lasers go straight, right? Well... Let's play with some refraction. This is a laser. You can see my beam here. The light will reflect off the bottom of the water and off the bottom of the glass. And that's just pure water, one medium. What if we introduce another medium? Some sugar. Ooh, don't drop the bag. All right, so I have put sugar all across the bottom of this. There's our curve. As I saw my laser level through there, you still see it's a pretty straight line. Until you get about right there, then you see it makes a pretty, pretty stiff bend. As I point it up, we are above the denser median. As I start taking it back down, we can see it starts to want to curve. The blue laser died, so I got a second green laser. Point it high, we bring it down, you can see it start bending. And see as we go down, the bottom light wants to start to bend. You can kind of see the angle at which the light's bouncing off. But then we get to there and whoop. It starts to bend. As our light's going through that denser media at the bottom, it's actually bending and shifting the light downwards. See it's straight, 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 up. Oh, starts to curve. Straightens out, curves. Straightens out, curves. It's straight, 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 curve, straight. This is exactly why when I hear people have made long distance laser observations across large bodies of water, they were able to see the laser on the other end. I know you have. This is why. It also explains why I was able to see more of this hotel than the math says I should. The light reflecting off this building would normally reflect way up over my head, but refraction is actually bending it downwards so that I can see it at ground level. Hopefully this gives some of you a better understanding of refraction. Remember to give me a like, follow, comment, share, and I'll keep making more videos.